Hey guys, and welcome back to the Spruce and Linen channel. I'm Janelle, and today I'm going to show you how to do a hem stitch. This is a really great way to finish the top of your weaving um, to give it a nice clean finished look, and it also allows you to not have to do that whole tying knots and tucking them in after like I've shown you before. So let's get started. For the purpose of this video, I've just woven in a few rows of plain weave, as you can see here, um, to show you how to do this hem stitch. The hem stitch is a really great way to utilize the full length of your loom. So let's say I wanted to finish my weaving way at the top here. That wouldn't exactly give you a lot of room to tie knots and tuck them in like I've shown you before. So this is a way um, to finish off your weaving. It holds the strings in nice and tight so that they don't slip. You could definitely still pull it out, but this is just another way of finishing. So I'm gonna start, I'm going, this is the bottom of my weaving and this is the top. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do this. So I've left myself a really nice long tail so that I don't have to re-knot in this piece of yarn. However, if you wanna do it that way or do it in different color, you can. And how you would do that is you'd come to the back of your weaving and you would tuck in your yarn through a few weft rows like this and pull it through and then when you start you'll just knot it on there but I'm gonna show you it as if you gave yourself enough yarn here so I finished on and under so I'm just gonna wrap this around one more time just like that and if you did it the other way you could just do an actual knot so you could go around here loop it through tie a knot but for the actual hem stitch so you have a tail going out this way you're going to take your yarn around the back of two strings, two warp strings, like so. Then you're gonna go back around the same direction. You're gonna put your needle up through the back side and leaving two weft strings. And again, we're using groups of two, so we're in between those. And then you just pull it right through and pull it tight and you can see how it it gets nice and snug there and it's going to hold those two warp strings together. So we're going to do that again. We're going to go around the back of two, pull your yarn through, around the back and in through two weft strings. And pull it tight. And I'll just show you a few more times. So around the back, and then around again, two weft strings, and tighten it up. So you can start to see this really nice finished look. And there's just so many different ways you can finish your weavings. And this is a really nice one. And you could definitely do this um, with thinner yarn as well, like whatever yarn you're weaving with, you could do something contrasting to give it like a neat effect at the top if you wanted to. As always, you do you guys. Okay, so hopefully you get the gist of it. I'm gonna go all the way to the end and then I'll show you how to finish it. at the last grouping and this one is gonna look slightly different this is how I do it I'm sure someone else does it a different way so I went back around the two but when I go back through I obviously have nowhere to go over here so I'm actually gonna go sorry I'm gonna go just between these two still gives you a very like the same effect. And then I'm just going to flip my loom around and I'm going to just thread my yarn. Kind of like how I've shown you how to finish weavings before. Thread it through a few weft rows in the back. Not pulling it too tight. And then you can literally just trim that off. 
and then it's finished. And you can see, even though we went through both of those, you can't really tell. It kind of hides in there. I caught, probably could have pulled this in a little bit tighter, but that is a hem stitch. So now, um, you could literally just pull these loops off and this is gonna help hold them in place. So um, when you do the knotted way, you really have to like tie those knots right away. You see how this is loose and it wants to shift. See how this is nice and tight? That's what a hem stitch does for you and it, it gives a really pretty effect. And again, especially if you wanted to weave all the way to here and hang it directly on a dowel, um, the hem stitch is a perfect way to go. So you would hem stitch, take it off your loom and just put the dowel in between the loops and then you're done. All right guys, so I hope that was really helpful. That is the hem stitch, another way you can finish your weavings. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. And the best part about sitting in front of a table to do these videos is the fact that I'm wearing sweatpants and slippers right now but I have this cute top on the top. <laughs> See, guys, sweatpants, homebody on the bottom, business on the top. <laughs>